41 live shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. And this weekend, BC Place hosts what they're calling one of the biggest sporting events this city will see this year. It's a qualifying match for the World Cup for Rugby Canada and Uruguay. Welcome from Rugby Canada, Andrew and Giuseppe. Andrew, what's at stake with this game? Uh, this is going to be a huge game. It's World Cup qualifier. So this is the uh, our second opportunity to qualify for the World Cup happening next year. Um, and, and this is this is our Although we could have one more chance, this is the one. Uh, we have a home and away with Uruguay. This week we're here, next week we're in Uruguay, so this is going to be it. So you have a history of beating Uruguay quite a few times, but the last time I believe you played Uruguay, it was a loss. So what's the coach telling you you guys need to do in order to pull off a win? Uh, the last time that we played them, it was uh, we had a different coach at the time. So since then, we've kind of had a change in guard. So it's, uh, it is kind of a fresh perspective for us. Uh, we're looking forward to the game. And, and yeah, you're right. We have had a history of, of defeating them. But the last game, you're only as good as your last game against them. So they may have the edge as well as in the world rankings. They're currently three spots ahead of us. Um, not that that's an indication of, of them being favored in any way, especially with our hometown crowd. But I was going to say yeah. the hometown crowd, and that's what's so big here. Ro rugby is growing in popularity in this city, but a lot of you know people watching right now have maybe only ever been to a hockey game to see the Canucks at at, uh, at Rogers Arena. So Giuseppe, can you tell me about the difference between a hockey fan crowd and a rugby crowd? Well, the the rugby crowd is. There's so much flow, flow in the game going all the time and there's no short uh, stoppages or anything. So there's always action going on. There's always a big collision and the crowd really gets behind that sort of thing. So the energy is constantly, constantly flowing in a rugby, uh, rugby crowd. Yeah, there's not all of those commercial breaks mm -hmm. and kind of moments of, of lull. You, you speak of uh, you know, rugby and, and the big hits and the big thrills. As a player, do you ever get scared? Not at all, no. You just face up to it, front up to it and you take it head on. All right, so I want to know, uh, maybe Andrew, you can speak to this, the difference between uh, rugby and rugby sevens. Yeah, so the sevens is obviously seven, seven people on the field, as the name would dictate, whereas our, our code is a 15 aside. Um, the sevens is, is a lot more about the, the quick pace, exciting, uh, right in your face, whereas this is the, the traditional classic game uh, where it's, it, there's a lot of strategy that goes into it. It's not just about who's the bigger or the faster athlete. There's a lot, lot more that goes into it. All right, just Sepp, you're from uh, Maple Ridge. You've also done some playing on Vancouver Island. Just to speak to the rise in popularity of rugby in our province, we know now, you know, rugby players and fans have the opportunity to see jam-packed games at BC Places, all the bells and whistles, the Maori. What was it like for you, uh, you know, that, that many years ago, starting rugby in Maple Ridge and on the island? Oh, I, th I think it's just the exposure we get to rugby now is, is massive. Growing up as a kid, you going going to a game was maybe once a year or so, one of the big games, but now we get the Maori. We played Japan a couple of years ago and BC plays now Uruguay and the stadium's just getting sold out. And and as a kid, it's a dream playing in front of a crowd like that. So There was a lot of hype in the city when the Maori came to mm -hmm. town. Was the vibe in BC Place particularly different from other games? Yeah, that, that, that was amazing. Um, just nothing can ever prepare you, I don't think, for, for, for going in front of a hometown crowd. As soon as we ran out of the tunnel, it was, it was surreal standing there for the anthem, just looking at all the, the familiar faces and knowing that they were on your side. Was well, and now you get to do it again tomorrow, amazing. which is so exciting. And I know you guys have a special invitation for fans to wear red and white and really come out and share you guys on big time. It's a Rugby World Cup qualifying game. Uh, for families, just heads up on this. You can get tickets for as cheap as $14, and I will see you there with Violet and Ozzy ready to cheer you guys on. So excited and all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have fun. We'll see you at BC Place. Stick